So today, we're writing recursive equations for exponential relationships. Now, a recursive equation is a way of writing an equation that describes a pattern based on knowing the previous number. All right, so I've got two examples to kind of walk you through it, and I'll show you kind of how to think about it and how to write the equation. Okay, so table A, notice in this table, x is increasing by one, and here's f of x, and if you really study this pattern carefully, notice it's repeatedly multiplying by two every single time, all right? So we know that this is an exponential relationship because of the repeated multiplication in here, all right? So to write the recursive equation, we need to know two things. First, what does the table start at? In this case, when x is zero, f of x starts at 10. So we know uh, at 0, f of x starts at 10. Now, what else do we know? Well, we know that the pattern is to get any value of f of x, we take the previous number and multiply it by 2, and we get the next one. So um, get number by taking the previous and multiplying it by 2. All right, so that kind of describes our pattern. Now, to write the recursive equation, all we have to do is take these two parts and write them in algebraic form. For example, if we know at 0, f of x starts at 10, we know that f of 0 equals 10. And that's the first part of our recursive equation. For the second part, we know to get any number f of x. So any value f of x, we take the previous number. All right, so if f of x is the one we're focusing on, the previous value of x would be f of x minus 1. Because if we're looking for f of 5, for instance, we start by taking f of 4. So whatever value we're looking for for f of x, the previous one is f of x minus 1. But the pattern is, we take that previous number and multiply it by 2. So this is our recursive equation. So your recursive equation is made up of two parts. We have to state, where does the table begin? And what is the pattern of the table? OK? Let's do another example so you can see it. And this time, I'm not going to write out the written explanation of what the pattern is. We'll just go straight to the recursive equation. All right? So table B. For this table, x is increasing by 1 each time. But notice f of x this time is getting smaller. In fact, it's repeatedly dividing by 3. But because we want to use this as an exponential, we need to think of multiplication. So another way of thinking about dividing by 3 is to multiply by 1 third. So if you think of this as a table where we're taking each value and repeatedly multiplying it by 1 third to get the next value, then we know that it's an exponential. All right? So now, how do we write the recursive equation? First thing we need is we need to know where does the table start. Well, when x is 0, our table starts at 972. So our first line of our recursive equation is f of 0 equals 972. All right. Now, the second part of our recursive equation has to state our pattern. So our pattern is to get, to get any value of f of x, we start by taking our previous value, whichever one it may be, and we just multiply it by one third. And that's our recursive equation right there. So again, we have to state what we started at, and then we have to state what the pattern is. And notice, this will describe to anyone this entire table, because it tells you where to start the table and tells you how to find the next value based on knowing the previous one. OK? so. Hopefully today's lesson helped you. If it did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.